Hey Gamination, it's Moen here, it's 3am and I just went to see Solo, a Star Wars story. So, ever since Disney bought the rights to the Star Wars franchise, they've near insisted on a new Star Wars movie every year. And a lot of people were worried that with a new Star Wars movie every year, we were going to run into Star Wars fatigue or they were going to start scraping the bottom of the barrel for stories. Maybe we don't need to know the backstory of every single Star Wars character. I especially was not looking forward to this movie. In fact, I think I've been on record saying that I thought this movie was going to be trash. But now that I've seen it, I can tell you that it was okay-ish. The biggest problem with this movie, and the problem that going in I thought was going to be the biggest problem with this movie, is that Alden Ehrenreich is not Han Solo. Now, Han Solo is a hard character because he's very popular and he's linked intrinsically with Harrison Ford. Now, Alden doesn't look like Han Solo. He doesn't talk or have the mannerisms of Han Solo. And he's nowhere near as smooth or charismatic as a young Harrison Ford. So unfortunately, at no time did I look at this and think, this is Han Solo. This is especially awkward playing alongside Chewbacca, who is instantly recognizable as Chewbacca because, let's face it, he's basically a giant fuzzy prop. Lando Calrissian, on the other hand, gets off a bit easier because he isn't really as big a character and you don't see as much of him in the original trilogy and Danny Glover is a very charismatic man who does a really good job of being that character. One of the other problems with Han Solo is that when we meet him in the original trilogy he seems to be around 35 years oldish and it's implied that he's had a long and illustrious career as a smuggler and we only ever get to find out a few little facts about his life pre-Adventures with Luke. So when telling the story of Han Solo, it was my worry that they were just going to cram all those little points into the story, which, yeah, they do, but probably not as ham-fisted as I expected. The last problem that this movie was going to have is that for the first time, it's a Star Wars movie. It can't rely on the familiar Star Wars beats that the rest of the series is so keen to exploit. You can't really rely on the Rebellion, the Empire, the Force, Jedi, the Skywalker family. You, this movie really has to try and fill in its own gaps and kind of build its own little world. It does try to introduce a couple of things about the universe outside the Jedi Empire dynamic the rest have. And it just can't help itself but just tuck in little bits of that main Star Wars story. And it seems more than ever that in this entire universe of Star Wars, the entire thing only ever revolves around the same 10 odd people. Apart from all that, which fair enough, it might just all be fanboy problems. The action is good. A lot of the new characters, apart from being kind of useless, I enjoyed some of them. There are a couple of scenes that get fairly stupid, but there are some scenes that are quite action packed and entertaining and the ending has enough twists and turns to be kind of worthwhile. So in the end, I still can't think I agree that this is a movie that should have been made, but I can't really say that I think it was awful. It's a movie that could have been a lot better, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse. So in the end, I will give Solo A Star Wars Story two stars out of five.